greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise your holy name, O Lord. Thank you for giving us a wonderful day. And Lord, Master, thank you for releasing your breath through these words, O Lord, Master. The words that we are going to meditate, it, de it definitely carries life. And Lord, Master, whatever the locked up situation that your people are facing, I pray, Lord Master, may the Holy Spirit bring about the movement that is expected. Let there be a great momentum because of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for miracles, signs and wonders that will confirm your word. Be glorified in our midst, O Lord. We thank you. We praise you. We give all glory and honor. And Lord Master, we ask everything in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Amen. Right. We are like a small family. Only a few of us are here. So if possible, I would encourage you to join in video. Thank you. Okay. You are my hiding place. That's a song that we're going to sing first. sing one more song and we are going to worship the Lord. You are here moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are a maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are a maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Touching every heart, 
I worship you. I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. Miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, God is who you are. You are a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, God is who you are. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, mending every heart, I worship you, I worship you, you are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are a miracle worker, promise people. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who so desperate and you are waiting to see the moving of God's hand the moving of God's hand Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to tell you Amen. the Lord will begin to activate your miracle Amen. Hallelujah. in a very appropriate Jesus. time even as the people of Israel, they left Egypt. As they left Egypt, the Bible says they went with the mighty hand. The mighty hand was already with them. The mighty hand was already with them. Even as the Red Sea was divided, the hand of God was already with them. Amen. Hallelujah. But still, it waited, it waited exactly for 60 meals because people thought they can manage themselves. Hallelujah. So for the next 60 meals, the provision for them was earthly. It was all man made. Whatever they carried, whatever the limited resources they had, by being slaves in a foreign land, they were just, they were just so calculated and were spending what they were having. But there came a time where they realized they cannot go any longer. Lord, Everything that we carried out of Egypt is now over. We have come to a place where we must see 
the demonstration of that mighty hand. And Bible says the very next day, the very next day, God opened his storehouse and he began to shower manna. And I strongly believe in the right time you will see the hand moving Man, for you. The hand of God, Praise God doing Shabbat everything Shabbat for you. Turning lives around, I worship you. I worship you. You are here, painting every. I worship you. I worship you. see the flow from the flint. There is going to be a fountain from the flint. The rocky surfaces are going to respond. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. When Joseph was elevated, even Pharaoh was speaking so kindly. Pharaoh opened up the entire land for the people of Israel. He said, please, let your father and your brothers and the entire family, let them all come. And I'm ready to open up. I'm ready to open up. Jesus. So wherever Jesus is exalted, Man, hallelujah. Wherever Jesus is lifted up, Lord, hallelujah. even the flint can be turned into a fountain. You can expect mercy even from people Man, who are stiff necked, who are very stubborn. People who have said no are going to say yes. Just because, just because Jesus is elevated, just because Jesus is lifted up, because where Jesus is lifted up, the Holy Spirit will be so active. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Spirit brings liberty. Yes, my Lord. Yes, Lord, let the anointing overflow. Let the anointing overflow. Let your light shine. Let your glory be revealed. Let it chase away every darkness. La shabara kila Hallelujah.
By and through his word, by and through his word, your miraculous activator. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Roshmi. Amen. Hallelujah. Torah Sami. Ishame. Ramba Mama Nali. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this blessed morning. Thank you that you are going to speak to us, Lord. And you are going to create the movement. Your word is going to create a flow. Just we are waiting. We are waiting, O oh Lord. We are waiting for a celebration initiated by your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as your people are waiting to receive your word. Amen. I pray that you will speak to them, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Speak to them with clarity. Amen, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Bring us, cause us to move to the center of your will. Praise God. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hope you all are happy. We are also happy to be with you. Amen. So before I get into God's word, just want to share one thought that God put in my heart with you. You know, there is, I mean, there are two instances uh, in the Bible in which 
the storm was made calm. The storm was made calm. The first instance is when Jesus was inside the boat. When he was inside the boat, the 12 disciples were also with him and there was great storm. The wind was boisterous and the sea was raging. And the Bible says the Lord stood up. He rebuked the wind and he made the storm calm, right? So when he did that, he just proved to them that he's able to bring situations in control. He can command to the wind, he can command to the water. So he proved to the disciples his legitimate power, the uniqueness of God's power and authority was revealed. And disciples were really marveled because that's the first time they are seeing somebody can do, you know, somebody can just stop the storm. And the next instance was, you know, when Jesus was not inside the boat. There was a storm, the wind was boisterous like before. And everything was so chaotic. This time, the Lord walked on the water. He did not rebuke the wind. He did not say a word to the wind. But what happened? Jesus along with Peter. Jesus along with Peter. So this Peter is very special because now Peter has a great revelation about Jesus because when he was about to step into the water he was in a dilemma whether this is Jesus or not. <coughs> that is why he said Lord if it is you he used that word if Lord if it is you so earlier his faith was partial his revelation was you know limited fearful so, but as he stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water, and particularly at one instance when he was about to drown, the Lord caught him and he gave him victory over his defeat. And now he's so thrilled in his heart, he knows for sure that the one who's holding his hand is Jesus. So perfect revelation. There is no fear at all. In perfect revelation, there is no room for fear. It is all faith. Right? That is one reason we must have right revelation because right revelation accelerates your faith. Your faith will be boosted up, you know. So, without any fear, without any hesitation, now Peter is walking with Jesus. Actually, this call was initiated by his word. So whenever you walk a supernatural walk according to God's word, that will always lead you to him, closer to him. So he was walking on the water. Now, both Jesus and Peter got into the boat. and the storm ceased, right? Without any word, without anybody rebuking it, the wind that was earlier boisterous is now gone. It is settled. So here I want to tell you, the Lord wanted to prove to others that not just by his word, also in partnership. If you work with Jesus in partnership, you also can calm the storm. In other words, Jesus wants to prove to you 
that you know as he had authority over the situation so do you you also have the authority to calm the storm if you can rebuke it will definitely it will definitely be subdued so you must know that you know the authority the authority that god has given to you and to me to the church is exactly the authority in which jesus was operating that is why he said i have all authority in heaven and in earth i give that authority to you and so you go to the ends of the earth and preach the gospel so if you are aligned to god's will if you are full of revelation about jesus christ you can definitely command your situation and it will definitely you know be subjected it will be subjected to the authority that god has given you praise the lord right so you know because i am seeing there are a little raging situations in the life of the precious people and you are just waiting for god to do something but the lord says just go on just like he said to moses why you are asking me you have i mean i have given you the stuff in your hand use that to divide the water which means use the authority that i have given to subject and to settle your situation praise the lord amen sister jerry robin the lord says just speak in tongues and rebuke the situation the wind will be settled the raging waters will be settled and you will definitely reach your shore however boisterous the wind is it is going to be settled in the name of jesus praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so you know as you step out of the boat in faith and as you are determined to move closer to christ the lord says don't worry you will surely reach the destination where i wanted you to be and the lord says i am the way the truth and life if it is an issue that is related to life he is there if it is an issue that is related to truth he is there if it is an issue that is related to way he is there praise the lord amen so with god you will surely have the access to your abundance and the lord will definitely do a wonder right so today we are going to uh, meditate from john chapter 5 john chapter 5 i'm going to read the first three verses the first three verses <clears throat> and the 14th verse the first three verses after this there was a feast of the jewish and jesus went up to jerusalem now there is in jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool which is called in hebrew bethesda 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 having five porches in these lay a great multitude of sick people blind lame paralyzed waiting for the moving of the water waiting for the moving of the water 
and 14th verse afterward jesus found him in the temple afterward jesus found him in the temple praise the lord <clears throat> i strongly believe that this morning god is releasing a word and that word is going to cause a flow that word is going to cause a movement that word is initiating something that will reveal the glory of god that is going to be so miraculous praise the lord may the name of the lord be glorified it is not any human effort but i strongly believe something is in the making something is in the movement the lord has already already release the power for certain things to reach you maybe it is lifeless maybe it is actually traveling in another direction but the lord has caused his breath his life and released the energy that is needed for that miracle that deliverance to reach you wherever you are praise the lord amen you know when elijah was at the brook of cherit everything that was prepared for him was in a different place the promise of god prepares everything in advance so while he was there hiding himself the food that was promised by god bread and meat in those days of famine bread and meat was promised and it was prepared elsewhere and it was just waiting to be transported we know that the ravens transported that promised meal to elijah so what we understand is that something that has life needs to carry the promised blessing to the recipient and i want to tell you this morning the lord is releasing that life releasing that energy so wherever your prepared meal is the lord is going to deliver it to you wherever you are maybe it is in a far place maybe it is beyond your reach even beyond your imagination but the lord says i am gathering strength i am releasing life and the energy is released that will carry that blessing and it will reach you wherever you are praise the lord amen and where elijah was in what address he was dwelling a simple answer will be according to the word of god when the word of god settles you in the will of god i want to tell you definitely whatever the promised miracle whatever the promised goodness that will be transported in the name of jesus and wherever you are it will reach you yes my lord amen, amen. praise the lord i am seeing number 12 sister susan i am seeing number 12 and the lord says in another 12 days there is going to be a great momentum praise the lord there is going to be a great movement the lord says and he has already released the energy he has released the life in abundance that will carry your blessing from wherever it is it will reach you praise the lord amen hallelujah so that is what is going to happen i know you know when jesus spoke in john chapter 2 you know you see 
the pots that were filled with water has already turned into wine. But that prepared blessing was needed to be carried inside. It was needed to be carried inside so that those who are inside will be satisfied with the new wine. So those people who are full of life, committed to do everything according to the word of God, was prepared. So that is the life that I'm talking. That is the energy that I'm talking. You know, the energy that was, you know, inside of those workers, willing to do anything, you know, as the Lord says. And they were able to carry the water. Carry the blessed wine that revealed the glory of God. So that is what I'm saying. Wherever, wherever the Lord has placed your new wine, your new wine which will reveal the glory of God, the Lord says he will carry it to wherever you are. The place of your need. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is true that, you know, God has promised great things for you. It is true that, you know, he has even executed that promise. But what is needed is, you know, life that transports that blessing to your place. Praise the Lord. And this day the Lord says, that is what is happening. Praise the Lord. I am releasing my spirit. I'm releasing my breath. So that even in the valley of dry bones, I'm releasing, I'm releasing my life so that, you know, there will be a movement. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everything got connected to its own. There was so much of discernment. The bones were able to discern its own. Even if there is no identity, the bones automatically, they were able to discern and got connected to its kind. So whatever that was detached, whatever that was detached to any other reason whatsoever, the Lord says, my word will reconnect those bones. It is true it was once connected. But because of the defeat and because of the dryness, everything got disconnected. But now God is creating a momentum because of his word, through his word, through the breath of his nostril. And what happens here is that, you know, a reconnection is happening. Praise the Lord. So whichever area a reconnection is needed, maybe your health is disconnected. Maybe your happiness is disconnected. Maybe, you know, whatever that is promised is presently disconnected. But the Lord says, I am releasing life. So whatever that needs to be connected will be connected in your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the portion that we read, particularly, you know, the third verse, it says, in this lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of water. Waiting for the moving of water. Moving of water. Waiting for the moving of water. If you can read Revelation chapter 1, there you will understand or you will get a revelation about Jesus. And Bible says his words are like sound of many waters. Sound of many waters. Here they are waiting for the moving of water. And I want to tell you at his word, waters will not just move but will begin to flow because his words are like you know many waters the sound of many waters as he begins to speak 
living waters the river of life will begin to gush out from his mouth and it will reach you to rejuvenate you to replenish you to satisfy you to fill you and to make you a overflowing vessel praise the lord hallelujah so i want to tell you if you are waiting for the moving of the water the lord is willing to speak to your heart this morning or this afternoon or evening whatever it is in your place the lord is not limited by time praise the lord amen and see in india it is just noon right maybe maybe afternoon but you know in australia it is already evening so what i'm saying is that he's not controlled by time he can deliver his word that can break the limitation of time praise the lord hallelujah so whatever you are expecting in whatever situation you want the word of god to work it is like water his voice his words are like you know many waters it can fit anything if you put it in this it fits it you know if you put it in a big vessel it fits so whatever your situation that doesn't matter as he speak the many waters will begin to flow from his heart and will reach your heart praise the lord amen, amen. see here there is an issue in this place the first verse says after this there was a feast of the jewish the jewish people they were preparing themselves for a celebration they were preparing themselves for a celebration while they were busy while the jewish people were busy going here after here and there you know being so occupied you know getting ready to celebrate the feast here we see a bunch of people or a bunch of people who are like a, in a lockdown situation you know i would say that there was bible says the bethesda beth isda which means house of mercy it was very near to the sheep gate it was actually a pool and it has got a name hebrew name beth isda which means house of mercy and it, it was having five porches and bible says a great multitude of sick people blind lame paralyzed lay there waiting for the moving of the water so a lot of people were just waiting in a way their place of hope their place of receiving a miracle actually made them to wait actually it canceled their movement they were waiting for the moving of water but they were all stagnant you know stuck in one place when the whole nation was preparing for some kind of celebration here we see a bunch of people caught stuck their expectation their hope has put them in a place where they are literally not moving they were literally not moving i want to tell you this morning are you in a similar condition waiting waiting and waiting for a miracle your hope has put you in a place where you are not able to move anywhere when you are seeing with your own eyes hearing with your own ears that so many people are celebrating getting ready for a celebration but i am still here stuck in this place unable to move because i'm just waiting for the moving of waters because i know that the moving of waters will definitely bring me an opportunity to be made well and to join the celebration praise the lord hallelujah i want to tell you it is true the moving of water the word of god 
will definitely create you a definite opportunity more than bethsaida i mean bethesda more than bethesda because in bethesda it is so uncertain but when god speaks it is so sure it is definite when he speaks definitely you will be made well definitely you will definitely vacate your situation and you will join the celebration praise the lord hallelujah so they were waiting the place that gave them hope has caused them literally to be paralyzed they are not moving anywhere they are not going anywhere the biggest dream imagine the biggest dream of those people who were there was to be the first one to jump when the water is stirred up that was the biggest dream you must know for an ordinary person that is nothing right just imagine if you are an ordinary person if you don't have any ailment you don't have any you know disability when the pool is stirred just to go and jump in that pool is nothing right it's not a big deal you know for you and i it's not a big deal but for them it was a dream it was their wildest desire i want to tell you at times you know the enemy will cripple you like that he will cause you to focus one thing and miss so many other things that is his always his style at the garden of eden he tried his level best and he was successful in making eve focusing on just one thing we leaving lot other things there was lot other things that was created by god waiting to be tasted by adam and eve but the enemy was mesmerizing them so you know when we preach everything is prophetic so i want to tell you whatever throws you out you will definitely you know come back and continue the good work praise the lord hallelujah and uh, so everything is restored yeah. praise the lord so what a blessed word you know i'm feeling in my spirit you know that the flow of many waters the lord is releasing the flow of many waters and that is definitely going to carry you you know the current of the water is going to carry you the power of his word is going to carry you and it is going to definitely you know connect you with the celebration that is you know preordained by god praise the lord the jewish people were celebrating a feast that was preordained by god i want to tell you the lord knows everything he knows that you are stuck in a place you are like a stagnant water this has caused you to cry a lot you have cried a lot but you don't want others to know that you are crying but the lord says my waters will carry you my waters will carry you and i will connect you with feast that is preordained by me praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah and so you know they were just hoping 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 and that hope locked them up in a place where they were alien to the celebration that was outside yes of course you know this is a place of miracle this is a place where the angel would come and stir up the water and whoever jumps in first will definitely be made well it is true but that same belief has locked down these many people 
they are there waiting for the moving of water but within themselves there is no movement within them there is no movement and this afternoon or this evening this morning the lord says i have come here i am releasing my breath so that you will move you will move you are waiting for the moving of water but i have come here to cause you to move you will move out and you will join the celebration praise the lord hallelujah and the lord says whatever i have for you is going to be so glorious so glorious and this you cannot even share with others because this is uniquely designed for you uniquely designed for you just made for you like a tailor made shirt a tailor made shirt just made for you praise the lord made for you miracle it's like a made for you miracle in this season god is releasing you a made for you miracle praise the lord hallelujah so when jesus came bible says when jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already had been in that condition a long time he said to him do you want to be made well do you have the desire to be made well that's what the tamil bible says do you have the desire to be made well and uh, when you ask a question you are asking to know whether he really has a desire but when jesus is asking he is creating that desire in him praise the lord because he call things into existence he has the authority to call things that are not into existence i strongly feel in my spirit sister sandra this morning god is speaking to you directly amen he is speaking to you directly and he is releasing that energy he is releasing that abundance of life inside of you and there is going to be a great momentum a great movement caused through the sound of many waters through the word of god full of life full of power praise the lord hallelujah and i see a calmness coming into your heart the lord says be still and know that i am god so there is a calmness that's coming inside of you and the water just water gushing out from his heart and reaching the depths of your soul you will live and you will cause others to live you will speak for the glory of god's kingdom you will communicate life into dead and dry situations praise the lord hallelujah so when jesus spoke that word the desire that was you know almost dead was revived the desire was revived and it triggered the faith and that strengthened him to make his move out of the place that was so stagnant that was so juicy so i strongly believe the lord is releasing his word as you are waiting for the moving of water it will happen at his word he will speak and the waters will begin to gush out from his heart and it will reach you it will carry you the current of the water or the power of his word will carry you it will carry you it will cause you to join the celebration that is preordained by god praise the lord hallelujah so we'll come to the 14th verse afterward jesus found him in the temple you know this is very uh, very powerful 
because Bible says Jesus found him, which means he was seeking him. The Lord was seeking him actually. He was seeking him because that man began to seek Jesus. That man began to seek an answer. Because when everyone asked him, okay, you are healed on a Sabbath. Who healed you? Who asked you to walk? That man did not have an answer. So he's now seeking an answer. He's seeking the Savior. He's seeking the one who gave him the healing. So I want to tell you, if you are seeking him, he will find you. Praise the Lord. It is not that you seek him, you will find him. I'm saying you seek him, he will find you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. An amazing thing, the most amazing thing is that, you know, when I read the, uh, the thoughts of the uh, Hebrew people, you know, whatever uh, they were thinking or based on the activity those days, you know, the mind of the Jewish people, Jewish rabbi, you know, uh, actually, because, you know, the, this, this study uh, was partial because, partially because, you know, I wanted to know uh, an answer for a question the Lord raised within me, said, why, why do you think I chose to heal him on a Sabbath day? That was really a question, right? He could have healed him any other day. But why did Jesus choose to heal him on a Sabbath? And I found this answer that those people all of them who were waiting at the poolside of Bethesda, they were sure about one thing. They were waiting for the stirring of the water, like as it says, the moving of the water. But one thing they were determined in their heart that God will not send the angel on a Sabbath day because it was considered to be a holy day, holiday for God. So they were thinking, oh, so the whole week, everyone would be very silent because they want to hear the staring of the pool. But Sunday, they were just casual. They were talking and no one will be looking at that direction at all. Because after all, it's a Sunday, Sabbath, I mean, Sabbath day. So, you know, God will not send his angel. So the Lord chose that day, which means least expected day. Maybe everyone there was expecting a miracle, you know, someday or other, but not on a Sunday, not on a Sabbath day, definitely not on a Sabbath day. But the Lord chose to heal him on a Sabbath day. I want to tell you, you know, your miracle is going to come from most unexpected direction and most unexpected time. Praise the Lord. I mean, you might have ruled out, okay, this person, no, no, no. This season, no, no, no. But the Lord says that season and maybe through that person, God is going to do a miracle. Praise the Lord. I mean, I underline this prophetic word for Sister Deepa. You know, I feel it in my heart. And I also feel it for many other people here. So it's going to be from the most unexpected area and most unexpected season. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So when he was seeking God, when, his, he, when he was seeking to find the healer, Bible says, God, Jesus found him. Jesus found him. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this is the second time. First time also Jesus found him. Among all those people, he found that this man is so desperate. 
and after the miracle also as he began to seek the savior bible says jesus found him i want to tell you jesus finds you this morning he finds you through his word his he's after you his heart is after you his mind is after you he want to see to it that your celebration will be a never ending celebration your celebration is a never ending celebration praise the lord hallelujah we are going to pray let's just close our eyes and pray heavenly father we thank you and praise your holy name Lord, thank you for releasing this word. We humble ourselves, O oh Lord. We are not at all worthy, but thank you for releasing your word. Thank you for releasing the many waters from your heart, and it has reached our heart, and it is ministering to our thirst. Thank you, Holy Spirit. bless these precious people whatever situation they are in you have already given them control and authority over the situation help them to subdue the situation and be victorious also as they are waiting for the moving of waters i pray holy spirit that you will release the life and energy let them see things being moved towards them yes my lord whatever the prepared blessing is i pray that you will connect those blessings with these precious people yes my lord whatever stagnant places they are caught up in i pray that you will release your breath let them vacate the valley yes my lord yes my lord take them out of this bedesta yes my lord hallelujah 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 yes my lord thank you lord no longer for mercy no longer for mercy as grace of god has already visited you praise the lord you will not be in the mercy of anyone you don't need the mercy of anyone Yes my lord thank you holy spirit you can be courageous and bold and you can declare that whatever you're going to receive you're going to receive from him directly from him not at the mercy of anyone i bless these precious people i bless these precious people particularly for those who are just broken oh lord even early morning they cry yes my lord i pray that you will remove the veil remove the veil let them behold your glory let them see your glory yes my lord hallelujah and the lord says you will be elevated beyond anybody's imagination i will definitely honor you i will definitely honor you yes my lord hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord thank you holy spirit the rulers will become your friends the rulers the law makers will become your friends thank you holy spirit yes my lord royal pathways are open for you royal pathways are open yes my lord hallelujah when joseph was elevated his own brothers came to him for his favor that is what is going to happen there are people i am seeing three people that have promised to help you this way or other one way or other but the lord says those three will come and plead for your mercy for your favor i will bless you and elevate you and put you in a place far beyond the reach of anybody who was even willing to help you i bless these precious people bless them o oh lord bless them o oh lord the dew from heaven is falling upon you it is filling your room thank you holy spirit heavenly dew 
Thank you, Lord. May your favors increase and multiply. May your blessing increase and multiply. We give all glory to you, Lord. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.